using hot glue in our molds to make a journal cover today. Hi everyone, Patty here showing you how to make a beautiful journal cover with hot glue and molds. We're going to make the cover with the dragonfly. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe to my channel. I just got these new molds along with a mold for making frames and birds. All large molds are from Prima. The three smaller molds Vintage lock key, leather belt, and hinge molds are from All in Love. These molds are very detailed and turn out beautifully. I show filling the mold with hot glue while I run the heat gun with these big molds. The glue seems to dry faster than I can get them completely full, resulting in air bubbles. Running the heat gun prevents some of this and helps the glue settle into the corners. I try to run the hot glue around the edge first and then fill in the center of the mold. It does not take long for the glue to dry in the mold, so no day or more of waiting. They pop right out of the mold. I take all of my pieces and cover them with black gesso. The dragonfly is from an outdoor solar light that broke in the wind. I fix the wing with a mold that is a leather belt. I hot glued the leather belt buckle onto the dragonfly for another wing and cut the bottom off the plastic dragonfly so it would sit nicely into my frame. Keep painting all the pieces with black gesso. Make sure you get into all the nicks and crannies. These molds are very detailed, and all that detail comes through when you add the waxes. Also, make sure you get all the edges. I speed this up because I don't know about you, but I spend a lot of time watching paint dry. I drew a rectangle on my freezer paper that I have down to cover my desk. This will help me arrange my pieces to look pleasing for the layout I have in mind. Some of my gears I purchased from Amazon in a package of 300 grams of antique steampunk gear, wheel, and cog pendants. I add the wax in layers. I started with Spanish copper, which is a little darker, and moved on to the lighter colors as I go. I really want the wings of the dragonfly to sparkle and look translucent. I want the wing that is a leather belt to be different and stand out as a fixed steampunk wing, so I keep it more in a leather look with the Spanish copper and gold. Check out the size of my journal with the scale of my pieces to see if this idea is going to really work and fit. I think it will, and I keep adding layers of wax to achieve the look of antique and aged relic pieces. 
the frames will have more platinum wax so that, so they will stand out as something different and show off my pieces more the more layers the better depth of color variations we will achieve the minty sparkle adds the look of a translucent wing on my dragonfly just a little bit of it goes a long ways at this point i have so much wax on my fingers i can just keep rubbing the pieces and get an antique look that i'm going for this takes layers and i keep going back and adding depth these little touches add so much texture and color that you can see when you look closely and see this in person you don't achieve this look with just one layer it takes time so be patient i did not paint the gears with black gesso so i'm just adding a little bit of the wax to the tips of those because they're already a nice gold antiqued color and just a little bit of the wax highlights them I try my layout onto my journal cover. This cover is brown packaging paper decoupaged onto Tyvek to make a strong cover that will last with everyday use. I want the big square frame a little higher than centered because I have the dragonfly that will go in the center. The smaller frames will go over the corner of the square frame. I use the gears as spacers to get the frame to sit nicely and be even. The little gears I added to the corner of the frame to get the flow and balance to keep your eye moving from piece to piece. Here's the three little gears that I put up in this corner to keep your eye moving from piece to piece. And then a couple little nail heads on these end pieces will help with holding the dragonfly tail up and keep it even. The dragonfly will only be attached in a couple spots on the frame and the centerpiece of the dragonfly in the center of the frame. I clean up some of the glue 
with a baby wipe, but the glue will clear dry. That's why I like using the art glitter glue for holding my pieces. I think matte gel would work nicely also. I use a couple clamps to hold the hinges on tightly and in place while I adjust and arrange everything just right. A little more glue in this area and this nail head that I made with the mold to give the needed height for the dragonfly's tail to sit properly. It just kept moving around and I was trying to get it to sit just right. I wanted to try using some of the metallic flakes on a couple of my smaller dragonflies just to see if I like it or not. I put a little of the metallic flakes glue down on the wings of the small dragonflies and add the metallic flakes that I have in a mix of colors. I made sure I had the glue on the edges because I wanted the flakes to go all around the dragonfly wings. I picked some of the different color variations and added them to the wings. Make sure you get the wings completely covered with, and the edges are also covered. Pieces of metallic flakes has reds and golds and silver and just a lot of different colors. It's very pretty. So I just add a little bit of it in different spots on the wing to get the colors, all the different colors on the wings of these two little butterflies. You could do them all in one color or all in a silver or something, but I thought that it would look really pretty with these all different colors. After this dries, I use these brushes that I get from the craft store in the stained glass section. They are a little stiffer and brush the excess metallic flakes off and burnish the flakes into the wing. I do use these brushes for adding wax also. I try to have a brush for each color, but, but as you can see, I used my finger tool and made a mess on my hands. But they wash, all is good. I like this look, and they will probably end up on another journal, but I didn't use them on this journal cover you saw me put together. Of course, I add a little more firebird wax to finish these smaller dragonflies off nicely. What do you think? Should I add the metallic flakes to the big dragonfly?
paragraph flipped through the entire journal and continuing our story with the for the crystal we find our heroes beginning the project of turning the flowers into ink that has been the force behind this whole adventure though they will find many pitfalls they push through as all heroes do resulting in the finished project and ink that will stand the test of time check out the description for all the details enjoy